Hey guys, welcome back. It's GenX, and today we're going to be showing you ad actions. Ad actions are the options that pop up whenever you scroll wheel or use page up and page down. So the first thing you're going to do is place down a character in the editor. Then you're going to go and switch to Visual Studio Code. Remember in the mission file setup video, we dragged our mission file into Visual Studio Code so that all of our all of our SQF files pop up here on the left. What you're then what I'm going to do is go and create a new line real quick just by pressing enter. We're going to want to add an action to the player. So what we're going to do is we're going to do player add action. Then we're going to do brackets and a semicolon. We're going to go back into those brackets. We're going to create a string for the first argument. And that string, we can we we can put any text we want in there. We can do test test add action. All right, and then we're gonna go outside of that string, put a comma. Then we're gonna put braces because right here in the braces is where we put our code. So. Um, just just for just for a simple code, we can do we can do hint. And we're gonna create uh, quotes, which uh, will which which pretty much uh, makes it a string. Oh, it does make it a string. And then we can do we can hint whatever we want. So I mean, I guess we can do hello world. And I also put another semicolon after the string, so that if you want, uh, you can put another piece of code. Um, anytime you write a piece of code, you'll always want to put semicolon, so that because if you if you don't have a semicolon here, say you didn't have a semicolon here, and you put another hint, hello world, oh, two or whatever. This will not execute because there's no semi semicolon here to separate it. So you always need a semicolon. So yeah. Then we're just going to simply save it. I just do control S to save it. First script. Go back to Arma 3. Click play scenario. You don't have to load the mission file or anything. It automatically compiles it. Wait for it to load. Ah, see, it's right there. Test add action. It's spacebar to execute. Boom. Hello world in the top right corner. Now uh, with add actions, you can pretty much execute anything you want in them. So we can go back here and we can do skip time 11. We can save it. Now you have to you have to go back into the editor and replay it. It doesn't automatically update while you're in game. So just rem just remember that you always need to go back to the editor and click play so it can recompile the mission file. Then this time when we do it, it's going to skip to nighttime because we did skip time 11. We're going to go back to the editor. And again, you can execute anything you want. You can name this whatever you want. It does not really matter. Um, if you wanted to, you could do... You can just name it, you know, or you can actually do like change. We, we can do change fog, and then we can put the script to set the fog. I think it's one. It might be one. I'm not sure. It's either one or zero. Yeah. And then, boom, it's foggy. So yeah, that's pretty much the end of that ad action uh, video. I don't know what I'm going to be doing next. I'm, it's probably going to be conditions. There are there are a lot more advanced things you can do with ad actions, but I don't think I'm going to be doing that yet. I just wanted to show you uh, the, the, the simplicity of ad action and just show you how it works.
next i'm probably gonna go over conditions and um yeah so i'll probably be going over that next video so thanks for watching